Despite 2020 being so rough on jobs, a gem in downtown Grand Rapids had another successful year, showing people how to become food entrepreneurs. Derek Francis shows us how it works in tonight's Rebound Report. After the pandemic cost Eric McCauley his bartending job, he continued his craft at home. I would come home and Eric was making us these awesome drinks and I told him you should try making this into a business. And now we're here. <laughs> he and his wife Taylor just started up their new business, Let's Stay Home Cocktail Kits. We take an ounce and a half of our mix to two ounces spirit or seltzer if you want to make mocktails and you have a tasty drink right at home. They started with their core four of flavors of mixers, which include unique tastes like blueberry lavender and peach rosemary. We tried probably 10 plus different recipes and ratios before we actually settled on our final recipes. Eric says despite his mixing skills, he may not have been able to take such a leap without the help of the incubator kitchen program. If it's a passion that you have, but you're not quite sure how to, uh, the right steps to take or how to go about it, that's why we're here. Ryan Bullheis is the culinary operations manager at the downtown market, where the incubator kitchen program has helped launch 85 businesses and consulted for more than 1,000 businesses over the past seven years. Our whole approach is to reduce down overhead. Uh, that's one of our our main goals uh, just because that is so crucial for any small business, especially in their first year. 5,000 square feet of commercial kitchen space and all the equipment that any food, catering, or drink entrepreneur like Eric would need as they craft their idea into a reality. We have everything from a 120 pound donut fryer, a 40 gallon uh, steam kettle, uh, two pieces of my favorite equipment at the end are the combi ovens, which are just very efficient, high temperature ovens. The only thing aspiring entrepreneurs pay for is storage and sections of the kitchen, which Ryan says varies from 10 bucks up to $22 an hour. Our biggest strength is coaching people through the licensing phase, which can certainly be the most daunting aspect of launching a food business. Um, again, that entire process, all of our coaching is completely for free. If it weren't for the incubator kitchen program, we would still probably be in like the planning stages and you know working on launching our business instead of being here now. Where Eric now is at a new career. We're working on some, you know, getting into some retail places around town. For the foreseeable future, for as long as I can, this this is now my full-time job. That was Derek Francis reporting. The Incubator Kitchen is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For more information, you can head to downtownmarketgr.com or send an email to incubator at downtownmarketgr.com. And if you're interested in Eric's new product, we've got more information about that on our website. So